Testing, testing, one, two, three. I'm Greg James and I'm a little worried about robots. Bank of England Governor Mark Carney says 15 million British jobs could be at risk. Oxford University suggests that 35% of existing jobs could be at risk of automation in the next 20 years. Professor Mosh Vardy of Rice University in the US reckons that most jobs will be replaced by robots within 30 years. Those are some pretty crazy news headlines, but forget about your R2-D2s, forget about your Transformers, your Terminators. Robots are already all around us. They're performing surgery in hospitals, they're vacuuming our homes, they're building our cars, and soon they'll be driving us around. Robots have even started replacing pop stars. OK, that's not strictly true, but pop stars can be quite robotic. I mean, I've interviewed enough of them. Also, they do often need auto-tune to make themselves sound half-decent, which got me thinking, if robots are so amazing, why haven't they taken over the music industry yet and put our pop stars out of a job? I'm about to undertake the biggest challenge of my career to date and find out whether a robot can replace the biggest pop star on the planet, Ed Sheeran. I'm in love with the shape of I'm going to put on a special performance with a 15-piece robotic orchestra at the BBC's home of new music, Made of Ale. But first, I need to get a bit more clued up about robots, and I know just the man to talk to. Noel Sharkey, lovely to meet you. And you. One of the biggest robot brains in the world. You all know you're from Robot Wars, but you've worked with robots for many years. Thank I you. really need your help because I'm trying to create a robot orchestra. Mm. And I'm trying to find a robot to replace a pop star, essentially. But I need some basics. I need some knowledge before I get going. Can I just first of all ask you what you understand by the term robot? I'd go with Joseph Engelberger, who had the first to unimate robot in 1955. He said, I couldn't tell you what a robot is, but I sure know when I see one. It's got to be something that's moving for a start, but all the definitions are weird because you end up with it defining a printer as well and a clock, and I'm looking for something unique. So it's something moving around, I would say, a mechanical moving device okay. that's been mostly been programmed. And in your world, the Robot Wars world, it has yeah. to be a mechanical moving device that is yes. also destructive. Yes, it does have to be very destructive, yeah. But I think I think that might not be a good trait for an orchestra. <laughs> Though they could destroy themselves afterwards, that would be fun. Absolutely, like many musicians yeah. do. Sadly. Cellos, drums hitting each other. <laughs> so with that in mind, are robots going to steal even more of our jobs in the future? They don't have to be that smart. There's a burger maker bar in San Francisco now with a burger that cuts fresh meat from scratch and makes 400 an hour and can just pass them to customers much faster than a burger person could flip a burger. Oh. That's just a start. And then there's autonomous cars, autonomous buses now being trialled in, in Chicago, mm. in Denmark and in Japan. So there's lots of jobs there, lorry driving jobs in Australia, you know, it's quite big. Okay, so my task is to find a robot that can replace a pop star. Do you think that I could find a robot that would replace Ed Sheeran? Who? I don't, sorry, I don't know who that is. Ed Sheeran's a... You know, he's a pretty big pop star, sold millions of records, <laughs> yeah. people love him. So, do you think on paper we could find someone to replace it? Not someone, find something to replace him? I think you probably could. I mean, not, I mean it depends on the, what sort of voice you're going to use. The voice might not be great, mm. but it might be able to impersonate him. Is he pretty distinctive? Yeah, he's distinctive. I mean, he's got red hair and a red beard. So we could stick a, a wig and a, and a beard on a <laughs> robot for a start. Yeah. OK, Noel, the big question. Level with me. Can I find a robot that can replace Ed Sheeran? I believe so, and I've got the perfect one for you. OK, this is great news. I'm going to be a pop star and sing Ed Sheeran's song. Boris is a robo-thespian humanoid robot designed to interact with the public. Do you know I am friends with the second best BBC Radio 1 presenter? His name is Greg James. <laughs> <laughs> it's been developed over six years by Engineered Arts. Good afternoon, everybody. Just gone four o'clock on Monday. This is Greg James with you till seven. Boris, welcome to my Radio One studio. 
If you're going to be a pop star, you're going to need to know how to handle an interview, and that's what we're going to do today. So in this room, I've interviewed the likes of Hugh Jackman. We've had the real Ed Sheeran in here. We've had Bradley Cooper. We've had Beyonce. We've had Katy Perry. So now it's your turn. So let's begin, and I'll start with an easy question. Um, do you like Ed Sheeran? Yeah. I mean, if you like that sort of thing. He's a nice guy, isn't he? Nicey, nicey. Oh, look at me. I'm so normal just hanging out with friends and being all nice just playing my guitar all the time. Imagine he came to one of your parties and kept whipping out his guitar every five minutes. Give it a rest, mate. OK, a little, a little bitter, but that's fine. We can work on that. Talk about other pop stars. Who do you take inspiration from? Rihanna is my main inspiration. She's badass. She doesn't care about what anyone thinks of her and has a great attitude. She's my bee. She's your... Oh, bae. OK. Let's talk about your limitations as a robot, Boris. Stairs mainly. I find them difficult. But most venues have access ramps now, so it's not too much of a problem. OK. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's good to know. What does R2D2 use to open PDF files? Adobe One Kenobi. <laughs> Let's talk about away from music then. What are, what are your hobbies and interests in your spare time? Oh, lots of fun things. I love shopping, seeing friends, reading, computer magazines mainly. Yep. Computer games too. I'm really good at FIFA, almost unbeatable. I also like dating. I'm quite a hit on Tinder and love meeting new people. Do you know anyone, Greg? Uh, yeah. I mean, what's your type? Any. En any. OK, well, I'll see what I can do. Personality traits? Anything specific? I guess someone that's on my level. It's so annoying when you get your wires crossed all the time. Wires. Very, very good robot. Get it? Very good. What I do need to ask you is, do you have any musician friends that can help do this orchestra thing? There are so many talented robots in the UK. It's hard to know where to start. I've heard about the exceptional talents of the Manchester Robot Orchestra. OK, well, let's start there then, shall we? Boris, thank you. Let's go make an orchestra. Good luck. It's quite sinister, that one. I've come to visit the Manchester Robot Orchestra, an idea dreamt up by the University of Manchester to get young people into coding and to create their very own robotic instruments out of recycled materials. There's lots of jobs going in engineering and the hope is that this will inspire the next generation of young engineers. So I'm going to meet some of the robots that are going to be in my orchestra and the people behind them. Hello. Is this the home of the orchestra? Yes. Good. I'm Greg. Nice I'm to meet Will. you. Good to meet you. OK. I'm excited. Tell me about your robot. So this is our robot orchestra. It's made by people from across Greater Manchester, including school kids, university students. The first robot we're going to look at today is made by Alistair, who's a PhD Hi, student Alistair. at the university. Hey. This is Lembot. So Lem is the name of the chancellor of the university. How does he play? Um, Pretty good? He plays OK. Uh, there's only one string at the moment. I can show you. Yeah, sure. Very good. Then we've got the Floppy Drive Orchestra. It was made by a placement student at National Instruments and it's now been uh, given to us to be part of our orchestra. So obviously the old floppy drives from old computers yeah. back in the day, useless now. Someone's put them to good use here. Yeah, uh, one of the big themes of our orchestra is um, recycling and reusing rather than throwing away. This is a good example of using old tech. Yeah, it's great. So uh, how, does it, uh, how, does it all, how does it work? This is the central sort of control unit here and this controls all of the floppy drives and the floppy drive motors spin depending on the note to be played. Okay, yeah. What can you play? So see if you can guess the song. Oh, OK. I've got it. I think it's the James Bond theme tune. It's a good guess. That's though. incredibly clever. That's a, what a genius it's invention. Pretty, pretty amazing. Well, I'm, I'm really pleased to see they're taking it seriously. We already have a robot that looks quite like Ed Sheeran here. Handsome chap. Will, what's next? So, next up, we have one of the stars of our orchestra. This is Glockabot. 
Uh, and this was made by uh, Dan. This looks excellent. Me and my dad have designed all these little PCBs, which are circuit boards. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've also cut out the wood. OK, so standard glockenspiel. Yep. But it plays itself. So you program songs into it. So we've taken a MIDI file, which is the computer's version of sheet music, and put it into the Arduino, which mm -hmm. is the computer at the back, and it can play the tune. Can you give me a game to guess the tune again? That yeah. seems to be See what we make of this. what I like. <laughs> Creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky. They're all together, rooky. The Adams family. Da -da -da -da. That's the Adams family. Yep. Can a robot replace Ed Sheeran? Maybe not the voice, but the music definitely. I like your confidence. You're hired. <laughs> the laser keys instrument. Tell me about this, Shiri. So we have two parts to it. We have an interactive part where we hope to have your fingers go up and down and correspond to the keys on a piano. Mm -hmm. And then we have a light show here where these lasers will shine up into the tip of this pyramid and give you a kind of triangular light show. Can we see it in action? We need to turn off the lights and we need smoke spray. OK, I have a robot that I've asked to turn the lights off already. So, robot, please can you turn the lights off? That took months to program. Pretty good, huh? <laughs> Impressed? <laughs> Well, that was beautiful. Thank you. Very emotional. OK, Will, this is the moment of truth. Can we hear what we've got programmed so far for the Ed Sheeran Orchestra? So Shape of You is the song. Yeah. OK. You ready? Yeah. OK. We've got this. I mean, that's, that's good. This. All right, he's stopped now. That's stopped. The drums were a little. A little out. A little bit, little bit out. Not quite there yet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be fine. We're, we're going to do we're it, fine. right? We can sort this. OK. Yeah, it's Greg. I have met some of the robots. Yeah. And it's, yeah, it's sounding good. It's uh, patchy, but I feel like we can, uh, we can work with it, for sure. Good luck. No, don't worry. I won't let you down. So, after the minor hiccup of the robot orchestra not playing in time, they've been working hard coding and programming in preparation for the biggest performance of their robotic lives. The session is now only two weeks away, and I'm a little nervous. OK, it is the big day. It's the day of the performance of the Robot Orchestra, and I'm here at Maida Vale Studios, the iconic Maida Vale Studios, where over the years, since 1946, anyone who's anyone who's any good has performed here, from the Beatles to Beyonce, and today it's the turn of Boris. Can a robot replace Ed Sheeran? Let's find out. Will, Dan and Shiri from Manchester Robot Orchestra are in the studio setting up the robots for this groundbreaking performance. Also joining them is Mark Evans from Robo for Hire, who's been working hard programming Ed Sheeran moves into Boris the Robot. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay, my robot orchestra gang. How are we all feeling? Will, nice to see you again. What's happening? Not quite all gone as smoothly, is it? as it could have. What's not gone smoothly? So there's a few of the, a few of the background robots um, are being a bit temperamental. Like actual pop stars? Fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, it looks amazing. It, it looks does, great. It, it looks ready it to looks go. It looks incredible. Sherry, how's it all been going for you? It's been good. It's, it's been a bit stressful because a couple of things broke in the way. A couple of robots broke? Yeah, we, we've got... Um, glue gun has our magic and sellotape, so that's holding this whole thing together. And Mark... Talk me through Boris and how you go about programming Boris to sound and be like Ed Sheeran. What we would do is type in some uh, text which Boris can say because he's got his own internal voice. Okay. And then from there, what we'll do is animate around the vocals. Right. So if he's sounding angry, we'll make him look angry. If he's trying to be sad, we'll make <laughs> him look sad, happy. Okay. So you can make him say anything? Yeah, anything at all. You can make him insult people? You can. Sometimes he does it anyway. Great. He's a bit, you know, mischievous. I think we're going to have a good day. I'm ready. Yeah. I'm excited. Mark, between me and you, 
He doesn't look that much like Ed Sheeran. He's a little tall. He's, if I'm being honest, a little too chiselled. But um, I've got a couple of things that I'd like to add to him to make him a bit more realistic. Is that okay? Okay. Greg is always making fun of me. What does he know about being a pop star? I'm the pop star. I'm the one who is going to replace Ed Sheeran. It's working. It's working. <laughs> a club is not the best place to find a lover, so the bar is where I go. Me and my friends at the table doing shots, drinking fast, and then we talk slow. And you come over and start up a conversation with just me, and trust me, I'll give it a chance. Now take my hand, stop the found the man on the jukebox, and then we start to dance. And now I'm singing like, girl, you know I want your love. Your love was handmade for somebody like me. Oh, he's got the moves. Now, More moves than Ed, really, because Ed's sort of constrained by the guitar. Boy. Let's not talk too much Grab on my waist and put that body on me We're coming now, follow my lead Come, coming now, follow my lead mm -hmm. I'm in love with the shape of you We push and pull like a magnet you. Although my heart is falling too I'm in love with your body Last night you were in my room Now my bed sheets smell like you Every day discovering something brand new I'm in love with your body 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 Every day discovering something brand new I'm in love with the shape of you When we can, we let the story begin We're going out on our first day but you and me are thrifty, so go all you can eat Fill up your bag and I fill up your plate The boxing gloves were a nice touch Yeah, a niche reference of Which I've, you've got, right? It's from the video Even get in a taxi, kiss in the backseat Tell the driver, make the radio play And yeah. I'm singing like, girl, you know I want your love Your love was handmade for somebody like me Well, come on now, follow my lead I may be crazy, don't mind me, say boy Let's not talk too much Grab on my waist and put that body on me Well, come on now, follow my lead Come, come on now, follow my lead mm -hmm. I'm in love with the shape of you We push and pull like a magnet you. Although my heart is falling too I'm in love with your body Last night you were in my room now my bed sheets smell like you Every day discovering something brand new I'm in love with your body 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 Every day discovering something brand new I'm in love with the shape of you Yes, you Is anyone there? Give me another chance. I could do a Miley Cyrus song. <laughs>